Nigeria and the citizens speak the same language, share the same culture with a substantial part of Nigeria. If you've been to the north before, the so-called boundary, can you find it? The boundary that they want to police, can you identify it? <laughs> I've attempted to drive by road from Sokoto before, and I suddenly found that we were in DJ. Because what had happened is that there had been a movement of sand dunes within 24 hours and we couldn't identify the road again. Mm. Until we saw the gendarmes, I didn't know we left Nigeria. That's the people you want to fight. And those are the people who will be part of the fighting forces of Nigeria. And don't forget that the, uh, the, con the, the states of Nigeria that are contiguous, Sokoto, Zampara and all of that are victims of terrorists. Who are these terrorists? I expected that, ne that Nigeria would take a good look at what had happened in history. Assuming Nigeria was not sharing cultural and ethnic relations with part of Nigeria, assuming so, we've seen the very formidable army of U.S. being unable to defeat the Vietnam. Mm. They were humiliated. In Vietnam. Yes. We succeeded in Liberia because Liberians were divided. We have not seen that kind of division in Nigeria. We've seen the people on the street jubilating. Yeah. We've seen them applauding the military intervention. And I thought that anybody who has a little knowledge of international relations and international geopolitics will take a look. You mentioned it, and very rightly, Professor, that the military regime in West Africa today, they're in the same belt. Yeah. Not of them are the Arab countries that they themselves share if not technique, they share religious connection. And part of them are still suffering from this kind of interference. Libya is no longer Libya because somebody, some policeman of the world decided to invade the place. So when we decide to take this kind of decision, I was shocked because I thought we ought to know that the Nigeria that bought the, carried the brunt of the resources, of the cost, human and material in Ecomoc is not the Nigeria of today. What has changed? Economy. We cannot, with a debt of almost 80,000, I mean 80 billion, 80 trillion naira, you cannot, between what we did in Liberia. And we could do what we did in Liberia because Doe was on one side, Taylor was on one side, mm. but Johnson was on one side. We don't have that kind of situation. We don't have the kind of situation you have in Syria alone here. We're going to carry a burden of a war where we ourselves cannot feed ourselves. I thought we ought to have thought a little bit more carefully. I mean, like he said, there are experts in this country that could have advised them. Now, talking about electricity. When we were going to do Kenji Dan, we had to have an understanding with Niger. Just as we have an understanding with Cameroon. When they opened their dam in Cameroon, the whole of Yola, Adamawa, get flooded, which we saw sometimes late last year. So we have an agreement with them to make sure that their management of their own water resources will not become, will become a problem for us. We did that with Niger. Because Niger can dam, live and generate its own electricity. He said, don't do that. We're going to have a Kenji dam that had 12 turbines. 
I will need the water from the river Niger. If you dam it, then there'll be no dam. There'll be no electricity here. So we agreed to give them electricity free. So when you go ahead and breach international agreement because of temporary inconveniences, you become an unreliable partner diplomatically. Not only in West Africa, but in fact, all over the world. Globally. You begin to look at a country that democratically elected does that kind of thing. The discussion is on on state affairs. On Splash 105.5 FM, The Integrity Station. You heard the voice of Dr. Yemi Farumbi. Chisoman Nonsike and Joko, thank you for joining the broadcast. Are you watching on Edmondo Bilo's pages? Are you watching on State Affairs page on Facebook? Are you on Splash FM Facebook page? And you are watching? We are grateful. As you watch, share the broadcast. I can see Governor E.A. Graham's here. Thank you, Graham, for joining the broadcast. Uh, Kintunde Philip says, please tell Mr. President not to declare war against Niger. This is...